My name is Michael Rowley, I'm President and CEO of Group 10 Metals. We trade as PGE on the Toronto Venture Exchange. Group 10 Metals is focused in the Stillwater complex of Montana. We made the acquisition in June of 2017 at the time that Sabanier was buying the Stillwater mines for $2.2 billion. At that time we acquired a uh, land position 25 kilometers of strike. We're effectively the only other holder in the district and uh, we adjoined their high grade PGE mines which are the highest grade in the world of their type for palladium platinum and uh, also the largest deposit in the Western Hemisphere. Hello, my name is Justin Madrew. I'm the current project geophysicist for Group 10 Metals and this is the Stillwater West project that we're working on. This year is really exciting because we finally got a drill out here which is actively drilling up on Iron Mountain which is just behind my shoulder up there and we're really excited to actually be getting some fresh rock out of the ground. So the Stillwater West project for me I think is extremely unique for a couple of reasons. The first being the Stillwater complex has really one analog, the Bushveld complex in South Africa and the Stillwater complex is very similar. But the th what really makes it unique is we don't know what's going on with everything. There's a lot of things we don't understand yet and are still trying to figure out. So like the basal zone in the complex, we don't know how the country rock interacted with it or changed the mineralization or uh, how extensive it is. So there's a lot of unknowns and the uniqueness of it also is the size, how big these targets are that we're looking at here at the Stillwater West project. They're kilometric in scale and that's in strike length and potentially the Stillwater complex we know goes to depth uh, from the Sabanier Stillwater mine several kilometers. So we know that these are big targets. It's just a matter of trying to figure out what exactly is in the rocks and, and how much mineralization there really is. So that's what we're trying to figure out this summer. So another really great thing about the Stillwater West project is there's three excellent things that any uh, exploration project would want. And the first is the management team and the actual technical team that we have involved is really quite extensive with the background and history that we have working not only in the Stillwater complex um, but throughout the world on these ultramafic uh, PGE deposits. So the second good thing about the Stillwater West project is the fact that we have infrastructure in place. Sabanye Stillwater has two active mines in the area and there's also historic roads that were put in by the early miners that we now utilize to get up to spots that we're at like today. And so the infrastructure being in place uh, is a very big important thing which I think is only going to help the potential for actually turn it into a mine. A uh, final thing that makes the Stillwater West project so good is the support from the local community and all of the other uh, local groups because they understand that it is an actual uh, form of great wealth for the people that work in the area. And so the community gets it. The Sabanye Stillwater has been mining in a very environmentally and safe manner. And so the people in the community understand that mines can interact with natural beauty and coexist. And so with those three things, I think there's a real potential to be able to actually put uh, mine here. Our work to date has identified 14 target areas. Six of those are high grade reef targets, but our focus is very much on the eight plat reef targets, which we see as having the potential to host multiple plat reef style deposits of the type of these giant um, platinum nickel copper mines that we see in South Africa. Uh, Anglo-American's 265 million ounce uh, PGM mine 
and Platte Reef's 112 million ounce Platte Reef mine, for example. So this is the NQ core that's coming out of our second site here. Uh, we're currently in a olivine cumulate and we expect to get into some uh, chromites here in another couple feet. Of those eight target areas which show very good potential, three are particularly advanced with known uh, mineralized zones as defined by past drilling and we expect to move those along to resource stage with modest drill programs in 2019. I think it would be ideal if, if viewers understood the, the potential size of these projects and, and grade and the fact that they are within the U.S. at a time when America is looking to secure supplies, domestic supplies, of these critical commodities such as palladium, platinum, nickel and cobalt. If you'd like to know more about Group 10, please feel free to reach out to us at www.group10metals.com and info at group10metals.com. We're updating uh, our website regularly and news flow is ongoing. Thank you.